And now time for our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would come close to us this morning. That you would calm our fears. Lord, we pray that you would truly open us up to your divine promise, to your truth. Lord, to the reality that we are in you and you are in us at our deepest core. Lord, we pray that the overstimulation, that the noise would fall away, that we would truly see you, see you more clearly. Come, Holy Spirit of God, we pray, and heal us. And Lord, we come before you this morning on behalf of a world that is confused, that is worried, that is frightened, and that is hurting. Lord, we pray that we would learn from this crisis. Lord, we pray that communities would become deeper and closer and more loving and caring. Lord, we pray that you would send your angels to stop this virus. Lord, we pray that the vaccines would both be delivered and effective. Lord, we lift to you those who are very ill with the virus at the moment. And pray, Lord, that they would know that you are there with them, your hand in theirs. Lord, we lift to you the leaders of our world and all of those who are with them and alongside them. Lord, we pray for compassionate wisdom. We pray for a real desire of oneness, of unity, rather than competition. Bless them richly, Lord. Sustain them. Lift them up, we pray. And as always, Lord, we lift to you all of our families and our friends from whom we may well be separated. Thank you so much for them, Lord. Bless them richly. And may they all come to know the warmth of your love deep in their hearts, we pray. This morning, Lord, we lift you all of those who are hurting in some way at the moment. For the sick, for the lonely, for the frightened, for the bereaved, for those who are dying today. Lord, for those who've been forgotten, or marginalised or rejected, Lord, for the desperate. Lord Jesus Christ, may they all know your loving, healing arms around them. Come, Holy Spirit of God, and heal your people, we pray. And Father, we lift you all of those whom we love so much but see no longer. Thank you for them, Lord. Thank you for everything that they were and are and always will be. Bless them, O oh Lord. And thank you for the certainty that we will come to meet with them again in your eternal kingdom. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the most precious sake of your dear Son, our Saviour, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And as we look back over the last week, for those times, Lord, where we haven't been able to see or haven't been able to hear, Lord, for those times where we've turned away from you, 
Lord, have mercy. For those times, Lord, where we have not loved our neighbour as ourselves, Christ, have mercy. And for those times, Lord, where we've simply just got it wrong, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now the time for the peace. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit we were all baptised into one body and have all been made to drink of the one Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And even though we are together, let's virtually think of one another and offer one another a sign of peace in the Holy Spirit. <laughs>